part then, I thought we'd have a look at these today. So inside there is a self-cleaning filter by Daikin. Over here, look, you'll see that LED there flashing red. Do they work? <laughs> It's an absolutely glorious day and I'm in a beautiful setting so not a bad place to be today I thought we'd have a look at these today so inside there is a self-cleaning filter by Daikin um, I've got one there one there one there and then I've got two upstairs I'm not sure how many of you guys have come across these before or seen these but Mixed opinions on these, um, but what we'll do, we'll open this one up here, or one of the ones upstairs, and we'll strip it down and have a look, and just show you guys what's inside. The same as any other filter panel, you just pop the two tabs, and then drop that fascia down. But, as you'll see there, it looks a little bit different to a normal air filter. So, we'll have a look. Um, we'll have a look at these different parts. This is the dust box. So this is supposedly where all the dust and crap collects in there. And then around this S pipe here into this, which is, that's the brush section. So they're the brushes that are supposedly gonna brush the dirt off the air filter. Obviously behind it, you will have the brush motor somewhere in there. I think up there is the air filter motor. So that filter slowly spins around past them brushes. And then right there, this tubing, that's the dust collector pipe going into there, which I'll see if I can show you that. Basically, up them two flaps there is where you're gonna put the vacuum and then that's gonna suck the dust all the way from that dust box there. Do they work? Well, they don't work in the environment that I'm in at the moment. So I'm in a bit of a restaurant, canteen area. And as you can see there, look. You can clearly see the brushes have been, or the filter's been spinning, but yeah, there's not much happening there to be fair. I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna clean it manually and we'll have a look once I've got it removed. But yeah, I don't know whether any of you guys have got any of these installed anywhere. I think it probably makes a difference sort of in the environment and where they are, how much traffic footfall you got coming through. Um, I know you can sort of set up the cleaning times on these as you want them, so perhaps once a day at a certain time or whatnot, but yeah, in, in this environment that now, these certainly don't really work, as you can see there. We'll have a close look when I get the filter off, but I'm not saying these don't work at all, they're just... Probably not right for the environment that I've got here. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below if any, any of you guys come across these before. Have you got any that work properly? Um, do you write them, don't write them? Yeah, let me know below. What I'm gonna do, strip this off now. Um, we'll take the filter out and we'll give it a wash. See what it should look like. Just before I pull this out, you'll see there, look. My air filter is actually ripped there it's got a hole in it so that's gonna need a new air filter but i find that quite a lot on these i don't know whether it's because there's like two prongs that push the filter down um, or whether it's the brushes i don't know but i've had a few of these that are tear so we'll take it out and we'll have a closer look so the easiest way i found to get the filter out on these is if you just take that s pipe off there and then undo that centre screw there. Once you've got that screw undone, you can just lift that out of the way. Just leave that there for a minute and then you'll see there'll be a number of these tabs. So they just turn like that, which is gonna allow the filter to drop out. So undo all them tabs. All right, obviously that's the filter removed. Uh, if we have a look, that's the filter motor there and that cog there, that's what's gonna spin that filter round. 
and then if you have a look at there these are the prongs that we're talking about i think these push the filter down you see that one's bent right up so that shouldn't be like that so i have to bend that one back out i don't know if it's these that are actually ripping the filter getting caught or whether it's something on the brushes themselves i'm going to go and clean that air filter and then we'll come back we'll give all this a vacuum a clean um see if we can have a look in the dust box as well so i brought this filter outside if you follow me on instagram uh, hvac underscore uk down there you'll know I always wash my filters wherever I can rather than vacuum them. I just think it's quicker, gives a better finish, leaves them a lot cleaner. So what we're going to do, we're going to give that a good scrub and a rinse out. Um, and then I'll show you what it's supposed to look like in one second. There we go. So that one's all washed and dried, rinsed out thoroughly. But you'll see that's what it's supposed to look like. Nice and clean. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll head back in and pop that back in the unit. Just before I go back in, it's an absolutely glorious day, and I'm in a really nice setting. So I'm in a really good mood today. Sun's out. Right then, just before I put that back in, what we're going to do, we're going to get the vac out. Give all in there, good vac. Uh, we'll have a look inside this dust box. Might go and give that a wash, but that's bad. Um, yeah, we'll get all this brushed out, cleaned up. If you do want to check inside this dust box again, it's on these tabs. So you'll see, we've got one tab there. And then you should have one just there. So if we undo these tabs, you should be able to just drop that out with a bit of a wiggle. Um, we'll open that up and have a look. So I've took all the screws off the top of the dust box. I'm doing this just to show you really, but um, there's the screws. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six screws. And then something else to bear in mind, there is a little air filter on the dust box so you guys can see that it's not actually too bad i'll give that a wash since i've got it off so let's take the lid off and just see what's in here so, a small amount nothing much really um, i'll probably expect to see a bit more than that but Anyway, we'll give the give that a wash out. Since I've got it off, I'll get that back put back together, and then we'll uh, clean the inside of the unit. Right, so we're going to give it a clean with this Milwaukee vac. You've probably all seen this before, but if you haven't, Milwaukee M18 wet and dry vac. If we have a look in the top, we use this with the 12 amp, so big battery. They're not cheap but it lasts for ages, so that's why it's in this vacuum. Works really well. Pop your hose out the side, um, you get an adapter. I think that's to go onto sort of power tools. You get that, that, that fit in, and then you get almost like the carpet fit in. You don't get a brush attachment, but if we shut that up, you can use, so that there is just off a Henry vacuum. You can buy these anywhere. And then if we get the end of our vac, that will just push straight on the end like that. So that's what I'm using. I'm sort of just cleaning the dust out of the, the insides of the units. And then a couple of other things that I'll use. Microfiber cloth, loads of them for cleaning, really handy. And then these. So this is a detailing brush, a car detailing brush. You can buy sets of these from Amazon or eBay for a few quid. Really handy for um, just brushing out the, the crap from the intricate sort of places inside the unit. As always, make sure you put a dust mask on, you don't be breathing any of this crap in. Let's get it cleaned.
There we go, that's all cleaned out inside. That's looking nice and fresh now. So we're gonna put that back together. Obviously we've cleaned them parts down there. Putting it back together is just a reverse process of taking it apart. So I'm gonna put the dust box on first, then we'll put the filter back in, then we'll clip the brush section back in up there, pop that S tube on there, um, give the filter a spin just to make sure it spins around. So yeah, let's put this back together. So on your dust box, that tab there is going to sit in that gap up there. And the same, that tab that side is going to sit in there. So push them tabs in. Might be a bit tricky this with the, with the casing. Push it in and then once you've got it up, you just turn them tabs back around to hold that in place. Next up, we're going to put this air filter back in. Obviously this has got a tear. So we really need to replace him, but um, same process again. You're just gonna lift the filter over, push it up into place, and then you're gonna slide over your tabs um, just to hold that in place. Once you've got your air filter clipped back in, you're gonna get your brush motor or brush section, and then you're just gonna push it back over that center screw there. Tighten that back up. And you can get this sort of S tube, and that's gonna push on the dust box there. You can clip that in there, and then it's also gonna go on the end of the bush section, like so. So make sure they're clipped in. I'm just gonna give that a little back off now. There we go. So that's that's now fully assembled. Looks nice and clean, nice and fresh. But that's the effort I've had to go to just to get that clean in there. Obviously, if that had a normal air filter in, I would just pop it out of that door there, go and wash it, give it a quick back, and then pull it back in. But now I've got all these gubbins that I've got to clean out as well. So I'm not saying these don't work. I just I don't think they work in this environment. Um, they might, work. they might work well in other environments. I don't know, what do you guys think? So there you go, the fan's just started on that. And then, there you go, you can see the filter spinning round. And you'll see it move into position. I believe these brushes in here will start spinning and it'll clean the filter a bit by bit. What will happen every now and then that fil that fan sorry, was going to ramp up and like I said before where you got the filter there it uses the it uses the fan to draw the dust from in the brush area through there into the dust box. Um, so after that's done a bit of cleaning on the filter you'll see the fan ramp up and collect all that dust. As always, guys, massive thank you for watching this video. If you could hit the like button, and also if you could hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel, it would be much appreciated. If there's any air conditioning content you want to see, drop something down in the comments below, and if I can film something, I certainly will. Once again, massive thank you to everyone for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.